right. Give me one second. I'm gonna bring my kitchen towel. It's right here. Okay. So, so um, there are two ways to blend the pesto. So, I'm gonna show you the easiest way. So you can just now choose two colors to mix. Oh. And just to color it and make another layer on it and blend it. So this is the first way. And here's another way, because you know, you can see this in the drawing lines on the paper. See, so if you don't like this, then you can make a powder with the cutting knife. This, make a powder. Just mix it like this and blend it. Well, Professor, I have a question. What's your question? Mm -hmm. I know someone had said that they had a question, but I also had a question, but I wasn't I'm sure. Sorry, call I'm sorry, my phone rang. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask, what's the please go ahead? What's the what's the pastel used for? Like, is it like a, some coloring? Uh, it's just a a cheap piece of pastel. <laughs> I picked it uh, now. So you can use it to color, like in place of like the color pencils or. Oh, this I'm just using this you no know, stick pastel and the brand is you now the bleaks pastel it was about you know 10 less ten dollars as I remember okay well, yeah it was the cheapest one you know you don't right. need to buy the expensive pastel you know and you're gonna color your drawing with that correct yes so okay. for this I just Right. Okay. Drawing like this, and then you can just you know blend them with your. Blend it. Like okay. Them. Thank you. So, um, so there are two ways. So this one is good for um, you know, make uh, the detailed things, but you know, if you don't like make the lines on your board, then you can use this type. But you now, as you see, it's really hard to make the details. See, so I normally use this type for uh, make a broad uh, coloring on the sheet. And I use this type for the, you know, make the details. So, so, and also you will need uh, a cutting knife, knife, you know, if you have, and if you don't have it, you can just, you know, color it on the board directly. So now, I'm gonna make a powder on the left side building and um, it has reddish brown, but I just have a bunt umber, uh, which is the, you know, toned down the brown color. So I'm gonna mix it, mix this brown color with the red. Professor, I don't know if it's just, it might just be me, but your top camera, I don't know if you're doing anything on your board because it's frozen for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't see anything as far. The only thing I see is you have a, like a orangey yellowish smudge with the chalk there. Any? Okay. How, how about just me? Like how about others? I can see. Oh, I can see your hand. Yeah. Okay, so you can. Your yeah, I can your see your screen is right not now. freezed. Your screen is not freezed. Uh, mm -hmm. I just. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Jessica. I guess your connection is not stable. So that's why it's freezing. Um, why don't you just log out and then you know, join again? Okay, I'll go out and come back in. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So I'm gonna just spread the powder, the brown powder on my board. So this is really good for, you know, make a broad uh, color.
Hey, Jessica, can you see the table? Yeah, I can see the table now. Okay, so I'm making the powder like this. And then I, I'm gonna add red color to make a reddish brown. So like this. And then I'm gonna blend them. So can you see that all most of sketch lines is gone? <laughs> yeah, with the color. So I said, you know, you don't need to draw the detailed sketches on it. <laughs> and now, uh, so still I can see a light sketch line. So. Um, I'm gonna following the sketch lines. before the, everything is covered. So this stage is just like the, you know, um, the vine charcoal's basic uh, shading stage. When we did the charcoal drawing. And also pastel work is messy. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> Professor, for those of us that didn't choose your drawing, that chose a different drawing. It's okay, yeah, I, I saw your sketch. It looks okay. Good. Yeah, so uh, for your sketch, you can just use any color you want, you know. Okay. Yeah, I saw a road with the simple, you know, the trees on the mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. So you can use the normal color for the trees or streets, or you can use any, you know, you know, unique colors. You know, you can make the you know different colors. You know, it's up to you. Okay. Yeah, I purposely chose it because I wanted to see what your opinion would be as far as coloring was concerned. I see. So with the pastels, uh, it's, it's really hard to make neat and clean. So, um, so all the um, drawing lines is going to be rough. And you now these are the lights, so I'm gonna erase it. mistake. This is the pipeline. Okay. It was the line for the lights. I'm gonna just get rid of it. Thank you. 
So I'm going to make this um, pastel drawing uh, looks like um, you know, um, a painting, not really a uh, realistic painting. Now I'm going to add reddish color on it in random. So you're going to keep applying the layers on the building to make a solid color. And now I'm going to draw the pipe with blue, black, and white. So I'm going to use the black first. Now I'm going to add white color to make gray because I don't have a gray in my uh, pastel set. Now it's time to use blending stump. So I'm going to mix them with blending stump.
Now I'm going to add a highlight. I'm going to make a raw picture drawing today. So I'm going to just leave all the raw drawing lines like just, you know, originally like this. I'm not going to blend it. Now with the blue, I'm going to just add a little blue colors on the pipes. Professor, can I ask you a question? Yeah. In regards to using the blending stumps, mm -hmm. since we had used them for the charcoals, what's the best way to clean up to get the black charcoal off? Um, do you have a um, the pencil sharp sharpener? Yes. Yes, use that. Just use that? Yes. <laughs> okay. No problem. Thank you. You're welcome. Like this. Now I'm going to spread this blue color on this building wall like this to make a unity of the color in this artwork and to make it artistic. And then I'm going to make a shadow. The Piper shadow on the building. Like this. It looks a little bit creepy, but I love it. Mm. I'm going to finish the left parts first comes because I'm righty. So I don't want to mess the, you know, the empty part with the pesto. Yep. So the shadows are done on the building. Looks cool. And then uh, with this uh, peach color, I'm going to make the outline of this building a little bit.
the highlights of the building. And for the pasta work, um, you gotta keep washing your hands. <laughs> So messy. All right. Oops. I'm done with this. Oops, I forget the sidewalk. <laughs> So I'm going to use you know, black and white to make a green color for this um, sidewalk. Let me use a uh, light blue color for the sidewalk. And I'm going to spread this color to the building to make a unity. There is a, a yellow line uh, through the sidewalk. So I'm going to add this yellow line. The border line of the sidewalk. Like this. And I will finish this um, the backward building. And that is greenish um, gray color. So I'm going to make a gray first. And I will add yellow green on it. And I'm mixing these powders gently to make a um, base shading on this building. What colors did you use for that building? Um, I mixed a little, a little amount of black, and then I added lots of uh, enough white to make a gray first, and then I added yellow green. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. And I'm gonna use these three colors to make the details. And let me erase that line.
The yellow green color is too outstanding, so I'm mixing peach color on it. Make a mild greenish color from this building. And I'm blending a little bit, not that much, just a little bit. And I'm gonna make a, a shadow between these two buildings. Uh, not the shadow, but you know, just to separate them. With the purple color. Then I'm going to blend this purple color with the blending stump to make a natural shading. All right. Looks good. And with the black, I'm going to shade the sidewalk like the first one, a little black, and I'm adding white on it and blend it. I'm using sky blue color to make the details on the sidewalk. And I'm going to spread this color to the second building to make a unity. And then draw the border line with the yellow. Adding uh, one more layer because uh, the building looks too blurry. Yep, looks so much better. And now I'm going to finish this a little uh, brown building. For that building is too small. So I'm gonna just draw shade it on, on the board directly with the pastel. And then I'm adding peach color on it to make them uh, light brown.
I'm not going to draw all the details. I'm going to just add the color. Let me finish this building. So the little buildings are done. Now uh, I'm going to finish the sky. It's a little portion of this um, work. So um, I'm going to use the bright color, white. My hands are so um, you know, messy, <laughs> so I'm going to use a kitchen towel to blend it. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the um, right side of the buildings. So so these two buildings are um, reddish brown buildings. So I'm going to use this. Um, dark brown color. And red color. Thank you. 
I'm gonna blend it. Now I'm gonna, you know, um, first do the same process with the left building. So I'm gonna apply uh, the color layers. All right, so now it's time to blend. So you will see the colors are now going to be lighter when you blend it. So you have to keep um, like a uh, color layering. This. So now I'm going to I'm going to start from this um, entrance of this building. So with the black, I'm going to make a shape. Since it's gray, I'm adding white color. And 
blend it a little bit. So this is an entrance and this is an um, entrance roof. So, you know, the top part uh, of this uh, shape is, should be lighter than the side. So I'm using uh, enough white for the top. sky blue color to make a distinctive. And the inside, this entrance looks very dark. So I'm gonna use lots of black with the entrance. And then I will add a blue color to make the navy. When the basic tone is set up, I will add the details. And I'm going to finish this window at the top of the entrance. So
I'd rather be working with the chalk, Professor. I'd rather be working with the charcoal. <laughs> this chalk is horrible. Really? <laughs> I have chalk everywhere, except for where I want it to be. I know. <laughs> so I told you, you know, it's going to be really, really messy. <laughs> So don't, don't touch you know, don't touch any stuff now. <laughs> it's gonna be covered with the color. <laughs> How's going everyone? Well, this, this roll is gonna be all sorts of different colors. So I hope you're not grading on that. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, it has lots of details. Okay. All right. I, I don't have purple, so is is it okay if I just? Of course. So um, so if you want to uh, make a purple, you can mix um, you know red and the blue color. Hmm? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll try that. Yeah. Well, it's gonna be or even... yeah, you don't need to use the purple. No, you don't need to use the same color with me. No, you can change the color if you want. Okay. Oh okay. Yeah. It's an art, you know, there is no answer. So just to use any color you want. All right. So I just finished the first window and I have three more windows. <laughs> that is too much. Oh, Julianne, how's going with the oil pastel? Right now, I was just making sure I have all the basic shapes uh, solidified right now. I, I'm not coloring right now. Mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, watching to see like how you're doing this. So I can like wrap it around my mind how to like I see. use the uh, pastels. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, I'll, I'll start doing it, you know, 
after class. Right now, it's just focused on making sure all the basic shapes are there. I see. Um, yeah. Can I see it, if you don't mind? Yeah, it's no problem. One second. Yeah, I decided to do like the four point perspective. It's gonna look a little warped. I don't know if you can see it clearly. Yeah, like, okay, okay, all right. You're yeah. yeah, sketching. Okay. Yeah. So once you know, I get everything down. I like. I make sure I cover oh. it all. All right. So um, try it with the oil pastel and let me know. You know, what's going mm. on. So probably um, uh, when you use the oil pastel, it's going it's going to be look like this. Okay. Yeah, you cannot blend it. So you can just leave it like that, okay? Mm. Okay, cool. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Colors are everywhere. <laughs> All right. Um, so let me see. Uh, let me just pause the recording. Um, professor? Mm -hmm. As well as the video, could you upload just a picture of your finished project? Oh, yes. Yes. Like so? Yeah, I will. Do you want me to Thank take you. the picture, the process, or just the final work? For me, I think the final work would be fine. I can use okay. the video for the process. Okay, I will. Sorry, Professor, you called me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm still sketching. See, the thing is, is that yesterday I was struggling. Uh huh. So, yeah. I'm yep. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's okay. So, uh, just to finish the sketch, uh, and then. Um, everyone, um, after this meeting, I need you to take a picture of your quadrant work, you know, and then post it in the Moodle room so I can see the you know, process. And then, um, again, I'm going to unload this, um, you know, work process uh, video after the meeting. So um, I need you to try to finish it on your own uh, before the one-on-one -on -one meeting and post the latest uh, work process on uh, Tuesday before you attend the one-on-one uh, -on -one meeting. Okay, let me finish this building because we have five more minutes.
Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave this uh, pastel lines, uh, the rough lines like this to make a, a rough texture on the building. Okay. Professor, can I show you one last detail that I added to it just to see, make sure I'm going in the right direction? Of course. Ah, you're just done with the sky. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Very nice. Okay, so here's a tip. Now, I need you to add a little bit more deeper color on the top of the sky, and then I need you to add the white color on the bottom of the sky to make a gradation. Then uh, you will see the deeper sky in your work. Mm hmm. So basically something to this. Yes, yes. So you can add a little bit more um, dark uh, blue color on the top of the, you know, the top here. So top part here, the top part of the sky. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make it darker. Yes, yes, that's what I want. And blend it. Yeah, make a natural gradation. Yes, very gotcha. good. Okay. It's so much better. All right, so the right building is done. So everyone, I need you to take the picture of uh, what you've done today in this meeting. And then I'm um, loaded after this meeting in the model room in uh, week six, uh, no, 7.1, no.